All right, we're back. We're on page one of note 16, Calc AB. We're going to talk about applying the fundamental theorem. This is like the magic of calculus. It's pretty cool. Um, fundamental theorem tells us, I mean, there is a, a requirement that F prime be continuous between A and B. Pretty much always will be in Calc AB. Um, in Calc BC, you will run into something called improper integrals. And then for the rest of your life, you'll run into improper integrals. But we are dealing with strictly proper integrals for the function that you're integrating F prime is continuous between a and b. So the integral of f prime from a, from a, the integral from a to b of f prime of x dx is f of b minus f of a. Crazy, amazing relationship. Um, so we got some pictures here that are going to kind of like show us what that's talking about. So there's a couple negative regions. So we're doing the integral of f prime from 0 to 8. So first, we're dealing with a graph of f prime. So you got to know what graph this is. It's f prime. And you can see some of the regions are a little negative or a lot negative. They're negative. They're below the axis. And then some of the regions are positive. They're above the axis. You can see overall the positives are way bigger than the negatives. And that's reflected in the total accumulated area, total accumulated signed area, 14.76. So that's when you're looking at it geometrically um, or yeah, geometrically, I guess is the right word there. The other approach, what if we apply the fundamental theorem, right? So the integral of f prime from 0 to 8 should be f of 8 minus f of 0. So in this picture, we have the graph of f of x, not f prime. And because it's the graph of f of x, the fundamental theorem is telling us it should just be where we end up, which is f of 8, minus where we start, which is f of 0. So this little bar here represents f of 8 minus f of 0, which is 14.76. Sometimes it's easier to do geometry on this graph. Sometimes it's easier to find an antiderivative and use the fundamental theorem on the antiderivative. Usually the problem actually doesn't really give you the option. Um, and you just have to like choose which one you'd rather do. So uh, put this concept in your own words. I'm not going to take that away from you. Put it in your own words. I think of it as kind of displacement, but you know, whatever you want to call it, or however you want to think about it, go for it. All right, let's do a problem that kind of illustrates this fact for us, maybe, potentially. Given f prime below, so this is the graph of f prime, and this is the graph of f of x, um, evaluate the integral from negative 1 to 3 of f prime. So that's going to be annoying-ish, because, uh, so what are we doing? Negative 1 to 3. But first, let's like draw it, right? Negative 1 to 3. And then you got this positive triangle. And you also got a negative triangle. So you're going to like pick up some, you're going to lose some. All right, so is the geometry bad? I don't really think so. Um, so for the first thing, it's going to be one, I'll do it underneath, one half. The base of that big positive triangle is three. And then the height is three. Plus, for the second triangle, uh, you have a it's well, one half. You have a base of one. You have a height of negative one. Because these are by twos, right? By twos. Keep that in mind. That's important. Scales are important. Also annoying when they look like they're square. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the second time I'm making this video. And the first time I messed that up royally. And that's why I'm making this for the second time. Um, so we get this. And then here, this is nine halves minus one half is eight halves. So we get four. All right, not the end of the world, but what if we instead have the graph of f of x, which we do, and we want to evaluate the integral of f prime from negative 1 to 3? Well, we know by the fundamental theorem that that's just going to be f of 3 minus f of negative 1. f of 3 is 4, and then f of negative 1 is 0. So f of 3 minus f of negative 1 is 4 minus 0 is 4. I would say it's inarguably easier to use the graph of f of x to figure that out. And that's what the fundamental theorem gives us. It gives us this connection so we can choose which one's the best. We can apply them uh, however we see fit. So you got to just kind of like get used to recognizing it, see where you're going to work with it in which, in which way, um, and get comfortable with it. So that's what these notes are about. So I'll be back in the next video, and uh, we're going to try to do that. So I will see you there.